Hey, Derek Sheridan from Rust Belt Basketball Coaches Network. Uh, we just fielded a question in regards to what we do or what we prescribe um, for an end of quarter scenario when the opposition's choosing not to guard one of your bigs. So we're going to say the opposition's not going to guard five on the perimeter. So on a, out of an end of quarter scenario, we like to line our kids up as if we were in the uh, Wichita stall and we're going to bring the ball around foul line extended to the left side and three is going to curl over the top of four and then four is going to come up looking for the ball. As the ball's in the air between one and four, two's coming straight up, five has leaked out just inside the three point line over in this area. And once four has the basketball secured, five. And again, X5's hanging, off, hanging out down here. He's not out here pressuring five. Five and two are gonna play a two-man game. There's your flare. They can kick back or screen, re-screen. Two can curl that. But we're looking for a quick shot from two as this is an end of quarter scenario. So that drifting option, it's kind of uh, similar to what you see people run with the Princeton stuff, with two players basically isolated for each other. A couple other options, if two would catch the ball, then five can screen for, on the ball for two as X5 is hanging down here, and that's gonna allocate a pull-up jump shot for two. If the ball went to five, two's here, and the ball goes to five, then since five's down here in this area, again, he's not out here pressuring five, two is gonna run a sweep, which we called sweeps a dribble handoff, Five's gonna roll out here. He's not gonna to roll to the basket per se because X5's here. So to clear out this side, four and one would set a nice double screen there for three. So again, the ball screen, the sweeping or dribble handoff action could happen anywhere on this side of the floor. So that's just a uh, example for you. But that was one of the quicks we ran against teams who uh, packed it in with one of our players. And I know right now what's going through everybody's mind. I'm back to a chalkboard, and yes, Mrs. Kazala's here. Oh yeah, and I know, yes, there, oh yeah. Did you hear those hearts just drop? My goodness. You're ridiculous. I Good luck, guys. Before.